careful because if it's on too much power, it'll tear through the wall. Maybe you can put your finger over it or like block it a little bit so it's not directly. I don't know. The baby did step on it before I retrieved it, so it could have been easily from being stepped on. looks okay. You can see that there's two horns to the placenta. The one horn where the baby grew in it and the other horn where it did not. And Taylor's tearing it. <laughs> no, that's where the tear was. Oh, it was already. So there was a one tear, but we think that was... Oh, but it was a clean tear. There are no edges. Yeah. Just... If there's nothing missing, it's just like, uh, just a, what is it? Just a straight, not jagged. See that it, it matches up. Matches up perfectly right there. I, I can even see the lines the from all the all the veins and stuff. Okay, we we're just basically looking for water, finding an exit from it. Mm -hmm. So this is the amniotic sac with the umbilical cord attached. It goes to the placenta, and that is where the baby grew definitely need to consider the attachment on the hose before doing this again but well that's why I have it so low but yeah I don't see anything it else it's not draining water. looks like it's just filling up like a water balloon And that is one way of checking the placenta. There shouldn't be anything left inside Shahrazad. No. Okay.